So I had a request yesterday to make this video here and this video is somewhat of a success first relationship type deal. I know both can exist together but it can be very complicated to mix those two things together. And when I say relationship, I mean a love relationship. I don't mean a relationship like a friendship or a relationship like family. I mean two people being together. So I'm going to give my view on that starting from my own story. I'm probably not the best person to talk about relationships because you know it's been a while since I had someone to... <laughs> <laughs> maybe when I was about 20, I'm 26 now, so maybe six years ago I had started up a UK music blog. Now that was getting like 4,000 views a day. People were coming from all over the UK to check out what my blog was putting out. I had connections to big names. I could literally go anywhere, speak to anyone I wanted to and get, make things happen. At that time, I had a girlfriend and she was one of those ones that just needs constant attention, kind of needed babying in a sense. So after a while, she started distancing, I started distancing, so naturally I started to blog less, I started to do less and then after a while it just collapsed, then I ended up breaking up with that girl anyway and that just taught me relationships are so circumstantial, so like your success is certain to an extent if you're doing everything you need to do and all the time and constantly staying on it, you know, that's almost a definite, as long as it's definite in here, it's a definite, it's going to happen. With another person, that's it's always going to be circumstantial, it's always going to be dependent on right now. Whereas that's a bit more dependent on of course right now, but your dreams aren't going to run, run away and leave you and suck somebody else's dick. But I am so glad that happened. Now that she's... Now that she... Now that she <laughs> I'm just glad that that broke down. Simply because I learned a lesson that time. I learned a lesson that... You know, no matter what happens between me and another person, I'm not so much in control of that. I can control myself in that situation, but I cannot control another person. This person didn't understand my dream and my vision and how much I had to put into it every day, every day. She was the clingy, needy, attention-seeking type, so that was never going to work while I was trying to establish something in my life. Now, that is not to put anybody off relationships at all. When I find the right person who can understand what I'm going through, then it'll, it'll happen. You know what I mean? But for the most part, you really need to have someone who understands. And even better, like this is when I'm talking to someone now, I'm not going to talk to any kind of... I'm not going to talk to any female that's not doing anything with their life for, for nothing. But that's the same with anyone. I won't talk to anybody who's not doing nothing with their life because that's what are we talking about. The weather, what's going on, whatever. But if they don't have their own thing going on in life and you do, they're in a different relationship to you. They're in a relationship with the whole of you and you're in a relationship with just appreciating who they are and appreciate them being part of your life and not necessarily them being your life. Whereas if they've got nothing going for them and you're the best thing they've got going for them, well, they're going to be attached, they're going to ask questions, why won't you talk to me, why won't you blah blah blah, all this stress, 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 stress that you don't need in your life now. It's basically the same policy with anyone you're dealing with. The only difference really is that you fucking the shit out of this one, <laughs> you know, or at least you should be. But I say if they don't understand, if they're not willing to work on what they're doing, or, or even if they're good at something and you're good at what you do, but you teach them how they can start to create a business and do things, I think that works too. That not only is a connection of something you can relate to where you're both doing business, but you've actually enhanced their life in a way that nobody else has been able to. So bottom line, I feel like both people in a relationship need to have something else going for them, because if all you have is each other all the time, 24-7 or, or whatever time, of whatever, in my experience, it's going to lead to bad news. I felt since what happened to me happened to me, I've always felt that I need to get me up where I don't need to worry about whether or not I can support someone else as well as me. I want to be in a position where I've got enough money, I've got the right place in a place that I own. I'm able to get on a plane and go somewhere whenever I want. I want to, you know, just have a luxury lifestyle that I can afford to. Because being in a relationship is expensive. It's not easy to, you know, you've got to pay to go out as often as possible. You've got to do birthdays, Christmas. Like, it's not cheap to be in a relationship. 
So for me, I need to be in a, a position where I can handle all of that. I need to be in a position where I don't need to worry about the moves I make in my business because I've got it to a point that it runs itself and I've employed managers to do what they need to do and I can just make major decisions. But I mean, take it how you want to. We're all different. We've all got different ideas. Relationships work differently. Everybody's different. And hey, I don't know shit about relationships. I haven't been in one since like 2013. I, I just died <laughs> don't get mad, get motivated, don't make kids make history. Make sure to click all the links in the description, subscribe right now. I mean, going forward, just think about these things. Think, am I in a position where I'm handling everything I need to handle before someone else comes in and I have to handle their shit as well? And vice versa, you don't want someone to have to handle your shit at the same time, so... I don't know, I think it's got to be right, I think you've got to support each other, I think you've got to be focused on something other than the relationship and just have the relationship that complements that and isn't too in your face or whatever. But hey, I'm just one person, it's one opinion, do what the fuck you want to do. I can't tell you how to live your life or be in a relationship, so that's just my two cents. Peace.